You know, I cleaned my bike the other day. Cleaned it? Yeah, I did. It was completely spotless. I rode it once and it got filthy again. It looks cleaner than usual. Yeah, because I've been cleaning it and maintaining it and using my little dinosaur thing to keep my chain nice and uh, looks after. Although, I have to be honest with you, I did realise something last night. And when I realised it last night, I didn't do anything to try and change it today. I've been looking after my bike, but I don't remember the last time I charged my DI2. I'm sure it's fine. I just thought it would be best to warn you now in case it does happen and then you don't accuse me of just forgetting about it. When I did remember it, I just didn't do anything about it. I'm not Doesn't. pushing you up the hills, mate. You don't have to push me up the hill. You'll just have to lift me up and turn me around <laughs> so I can fall back down them gracefully and with style. Video number 1000 and something. I'm sat in Justin's car because it's cold. A man has left his bike with us to look after. <laughs> What are you gonna do with it? Uh, I don't know, spike his water bottle? Adjust his seat post height or his crank length. Do something really subtle to just fuck with his head enough to think, wow, like, that is fast anymore. Why are you so mean? That's true, that is a bit mean. Still not here though. Well, what is the most minor thing we can do without damaging the bike that would just mess with his head? I change the chain? <laughs> <laughs> replace it with like a gummy worm? <laughs> replace it with a gummy worm? Yeah, replace it with a gummy worm. We're gonna go cycling as soon as uh, Justin's put his bike together. Why are you right? You're just rolling in a circle. So I'm waiting for the man to come back for his bike. <laughs> Too much. Are you suffering, mate? No. Why? Uh, this is the hilliest ride we've done together for a while. Ever. For ever. Last time we rode a hill this big, I was pushing you. <laughs> Sorry, you're not meant to make me laugh climbing. That's no, all good. It's not too bad. It's gentle, then steep, and gentle again. It's fun. Every time we ride together, it ends up raining. Even when it's supposed to be sunny, it ends up raining. Like today. It's extra bad for Justin because he's so low down he just gets sprayed in the face by all the rain. Even after it stopped raining you got all the standing water on the road. You having fun? I thought my chain was broke. Nice easy bit on the hill for me but then as soon as we hit the downhill and the flat bits he is rapid. Because you're aerodynamic. Fuck you. It's power and skill. <laughs> Coffee stop. My young coach Andy. Hello. You bump into everyone around here. Yeah. You just caught us at the tail end of our 200k ride. You done 200k today? Yeah, yeah. Nice. You're just yeah. I'll... It's true, right? 200k. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calling us liars. Your bike's almost as messy as his. I, I was gonna say, <laughs> what colour is that chain and the cassette? Those are black. Yeah. Go faster, sporty black chains and black cassettes. Yeah. And you said that mine wasn't meant to look like that. Look at that. It's not meant to look like that. His isn't meant to look like I've that. I've had this eight years. Very what, that well. chain? No, no. I probably had about <laughs> six cleaned chains. It once. I probably had about six chains at that time. Don't go to him for advice, Why? even though he was my coach. Exactly. He was your coach. Well, it depends on what you want advice on. If you want advice on how to win a bike race, yes. If you want to have an advice about, you know, bike maintenance, bike, bike cleaning, <laughs> do. Well, what about if I want to win an armstrong race? Yeah. Uh, that's outside my comfort zone. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking muddy, uneven brown. Oh, oh dude, it's that shit as well. Oh, it could be shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it is, is it shit or is it mud? It could just be mud. Okay, I'll use a leaf. A leaf. Can you come here for a second? No. Uh, and then you get shit all over your hands. You know what they should do? What? AstroTurf. Or just concrete over it all. All of it? Yeah. That nice squidgy tarmac. You know the squidgy tarmac? <laughs> no, I don't think that. Like... It looks lovely like this. Bunked a bit. Bit of a start stop ride. You forget to eat enough. You're right. Mm. I love commuting. You know where there's those traffic islands in the middle? Someone like 
hit there the front well they like went over a bit of the island words are hard at this moment in time what they drive into it yeah they like rode o they drove over the the curb of it yeah what the hell oh well better than hitting me i guess a little parcel for daisy legend wilkinson this can only mean one thing it's from jordan the start of my many Christmas presents from Jordan. Oh what? my god! This is sick! That fit in a bottle cage? To be honest, I've never ever bought gin for myself. Oh my god, it's got Philip Schofield on it. Right, so why is there a shoe in the kitchen? This is my left leg shoe that I got fitted at James's uh, a few weeks ago. And the right one is absolutely perfect. Super, super snug. This one has a little bit of a pressure point on the side here. So... I'm gonna remold it. 100 degrees. I can never remember the model of the shoe. Basically, this particular model, I think it's a CX304, I think. I'll put it on the screen here. It's a very aggressive shoe, and getting it right can be quite difficult. Uh, it's very unforgiving, it's what James always says, uh, because it kind of cups your foot in this sort of boat shape. The nice thing about that is if you can get it right, it really hugs your feet, and there's no movement or anything when you're pedaling, so you really feel connected. Now obviously it is good to get a professional to fit these to you first, but if you want to mold them at home, you can up to five times apparently. So we're going to chuck these in the oven and see if we can get rid of the little hot spot I've got on the side of my foot. If one of them works, I'm sure I can get that one to fit perfect too. Insole's got to come out, oven preheated to 100 degrees, middle shelf, five minutes. Hot shoe, hot shoe. I'll tighten these up but not over tighten them. Give it a squish around the back, make sure that hot spot isn't poking in and then let it sit for a bit. I'm gonna sit and get some work done. Tomorrow is gravel day. I finally have a date in the diary to build up my mountain bike, which is gonna happen on Wednesday next week. All of the parts are now ready, so stay tuned for that build. The guys at Cycle Exchange in Kingston are gonna help me out with the build, and the workshop they've got there is really nice and well lit, so hopefully we can get some cool footage as well. Putting the bike together and learning a little bit about what components go into a modern cross-country mountain bike build. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>